Sometimes I wonder why we trust the GPS. Apparently this is Oslong Road, and hopefully it gets us to the right road to Panther Rocks. Stick around and see if it does. Next left on Four Mile Road. Well, it looks like that did put us on to Four Mile Road. We're in the Meshannon State Forest in Clearfield County, Pennsylvania, heading to a site known as Panther Rocks. Continue on Four Mile Road for one and a half miles. This is a great natural area located between S.B. Elliott State Park and Parker Dam State Park here in the part of Pennsylvania known as the PA Wilds. Sure looks like we found it. This is the parking area for Panther Rocks, and with the leaves not being out yet, we can actually see the rocks there just in the distance. The accessibility of such a spectacular formation is what makes this location so special. A gently sloping gravel path, maybe a quarter mile long, leads us into this rock city. Hey, I'd really appreciate it if you'd click that subscribe button and help us hit our goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I mean, it's free, and it really does help us out. We can get more people seeing our videos and the beauty and sights here in the Mid-Atlantic. While there are larger and better known formations, such as the nearby Bilger's Rocks, Panther Rocks offers a more secluded, less visited opportunity to view some of these impressive geologic leftovers. These sandstone rocks are in the Pottsville Formation and were deposited nearly 300 million years ago. Erosion of softer soil around them have exposed them and left them towering over the relatively flat plateau that surrounds them. The elevation here is a bit over 2,200 feet. Ferns, moss, and even small trees find purchase in the sides where softer sediment has eroded into the rocks. What appears to be almost a cave, but more likely is an overhang that has eroded from underneath, provides a point of interest. The signs of a fire ring and some stones made into seats show us that people do in fact find uses for these impressive structures. The streets of this rock city are vertical fractures known as joints. Years of frost, ice, and freeze-thaw cycles have widened them into what we see here today. Thank you. 
We can walk down one of those streets and around the back side of the rocks. And here on the south side, access to the top is relatively easy. One of those streets we saw from below, though, does kind of limit how far we can explore without a jump across the chasm. I'm here by myself today. It's probably better that I don't attempt to jump that. I'm not sure if I would if I wasn't here solo.
As impressive as they are, a visit to Panther Rocks isn't the kind of location that would be worth a long drive if this was your only stop. But we are just a couple miles north of the Penfield exit of Interstate 80, so if you're traveling through Clearfield County, it makes a nice little break from the interstate. I was actually on my way back from Ridgeway today, so it was the perfect time to stop in. With two state parks right in the neighborhood, there's plenty to do with the rest of your day if you do decide to make the trip in. I'm glad you decided to take the time to come along today. We appreciate your interest in our adventures and we always appreciate you watching our videos. Until the next one, have a great week.